Hello and welcome to another Node.js tutorial video and in this video we are going to execute some MySQL query from the our index.js file okay so in this video we are going to create a new database using the JS, JS code we are going to create a table we are going to insert the uh, few values in, into the table and we are going to retrieve the value from that table all using the MySQL query from the Node.js app. Okay, so for that we are going to need a database that is MySQL database. So I have used XAMPP for that. So if you don't know how to connect Node.js to the MySQL database, then I have created a separate video for that. You can check that in the description. Also, if you don't know how to create the Node.js project, then you can also watch the video. Link will be in description too. Okay. So here, uh, let me show you around the structure what I have created already. Okay, so I have created a simple app, and I also have created a, a, a database file using which I can connect to the MySQL database. So these are the information; these are the code required for the db.js file. Okay, so I also have index.js file, and I have packages such as MySQL, Pog, and Express. Okay that I have installed using npm uh, you can check the video for how to install the package into the node project okay and our server is running at the port number 1000 okay so we can uh, access that using the browser here. okay so here I have uh, written the simple code that display the message welcome home whenever you access the home page of our server that is uh, localhost colon 2000 okay so the first thing I'm going to write here is I'm going to write a code to, to create the database. After that we are going to connect uh, using that specific database. So I'm going to create a separate page whenever somebody access that, that URL the database is created automatically okay. So app.get whenever somebody access create db url database will be created so here we need to first write sql query so i hope you are familiar with the sql queries okay so create the database we need to use create database and the database name so database name here will be db op1 okay now i need to execute this at the beginning of the file i have included that db file that here so this db uh, what that this db file does is it will uh, connect to the mysql database so our uh, mysql server is running here in the exam control panel so to perform the query first we need to write the query so that we have done here now we need to execute that using db is the variable name here db.query the first argument is SQL query and secondly our function if any error is occurred if any error we are going to throw that error to the console otherwise uh, we will display the message that says database is created successfully so let me go ahead and check this URL is working or not and we will also see if the database is created or not so our URL name is create okay so you can see the message that database is created successfully so our database has been created successfully in the uh, mysql okay so now we can create the create the tables inside this database we need to give the database name that we have created now just now that is dbop okay so now we can start creating the tables inside this database called as dbop1 we can insert the data we can retrieve the data we can perform various database uh, operation first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a table inside this database okay so the table name will be uh, okay so let me give a url for that also create student or 
me say create last student okay let me write the query for that first SQL so query is create table student uh, I, I want to give the ID that is a integer type name that is a marker and we give the length as 50 and I'll, I also want to give the grade number grade that will also be integer okay, let me make it as primary key embrace here parenthesis here okay now let's go ahead and re reload the page okay as you can see here the table is created successfully now we can start inserting the data into into this table okay so if you know the database queries then it will be pretty easy for you so just like this using same command you can insert the data so let's do that insert So let me quickly copy this from here. I'll change this insert student. Okay. So what we are gonna do here is we are going to insert the student. Insert into student values. One name is class. go ahead and access this URL and see if the user gets inserted or not okay the student is inserted successfully so to check if these uh, student are inserted or not let me show you the MySQL dashboard okay let me mix with the Apache is running okay. you can access the MySQL admin page by using PSMA admin ok so the data database name is dbop1 that you can see your database is created here ok inside that we also have table name ok here we also have a student name because and with the data of 5 and id is 1 so this is how we insert the data inside the mysql database using the node.js okay so in the next video we are going to create the form and using that form we are going to insert the data into the database and we also will also learn how to retrieve the data and display in the web page and we are also going to use pug for that okay so i hope to see you in the next video thank you